Before we begin today's video, I'd like to encourage all of you Daisy server owners to come join my Discord if you really want to take your server to the next level. You'll find everything from the basic XML guides to definitions, some really good JSON builds, proxy builds, along with advanced XML. The link to join my Discord will be on all of my YouTube videos. See you guys there. Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to boost your types.xml in literally a few clicks. To get started, you're going to want to join my Discord server. The link to join my Discord should be in the description of the video. Once you're in my Discord server, go on to the Tools category, which is all the way at the bottom. There is a channel called Modding Bot. Here, there's a link to join the Modding Bots Discord. Once you've joined it, go to the bot commands. I'm just going to dismiss these so we can start off fresh. Here, you want to do slash. And when you do slash, there's two things you can do with this bot for now. One is boosting your types.xml, and another is, which is also a very helpful tool, calculating the day and nighttime multipliers. For this video, I'll be showing you the boost first. Once, you're, once you uh, select the boost, it'll tell you the boost factor. For this video, I'll do two, but you can literally do whatever, even though it's not advised. Don't go crazy. Like two, three, four, maybe five maximum. But I really don't advise boosting that much. For me personally, I'd say two is as high as you should go. But hey, your server and you can do whatever you want. So I'll do boost factor two. Now it'll say please attach file uh, for the video's sake. I'm going to go ahead and upload this file. This is uh, so for instance, as an example, we're going to look at the vicar here on the file that I'm about to upload. Vicar values at the moment are at nominal 12, minim minimal 10. Now to upload this file, there it is, back to my Discord, just drag and drop, types.xml is uploaded, do enter, sorry, yeah, do enter. Now it says choose what categories you'd like excluded. Uh, I know most people would not want vehicle parts boosted. You can choose whatever you like, weapon attachments, uh, veggies, clothing, or extra items. So I'll just go with vehicle parts for this video. Once you've chosen what you'd like excluded, literally just left click anywhere on the Discord. And that should have your file ready. Now what it'll say is the exclusions you have chosen Vehicle parts, yes, but everything else, no. So we're going to download this file now. Go to the downloads. There it is. So here, as you can see, the nominals on the file I provided the bot were 12 for the vicar. But right now, they are 24. It literally, all it does for you is it multiplies by however much you like you know, times three, times four. It's the easiest way to boost your types.xml without having to go through 18, 19,000 lines of code. Another cool function. Now, before we move on to the next thing, please don't forget to rename your types.xml file or just upload it onto your original types.xml file, which is currently on your Nitrato server. Because if you upload it with this name, your server is not going to recognize it. You want to make sure you keep the default Nitrato uh, name. That is the only way your server is going to read that file. The next cool function this bot has, we'll do the slash command again. We'll do this time the day and night time. So I want my day time to be three hours. And then my night time values are in minutes, so I'll do 15 minutes and then enter. 
it'll tell you to put the daytime multiplier 4.0 uh, and nighttime multiplier 12.0. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Please like and subscribe for more DayZ related content.